Here we are for my first time in the WWE Performance Center. I bet you never thought I would make it here, did you? I envisioned you jumping off that top <laughs> rope over there many times in my head. Um, what do you think? I love it. It's amazing. But, but before we get into it, I didn't get to ask you my question. What's the haps? What's the what? What's haps. The haps? Is that is that the kid lingo that's now? The one, is that yeah. the cool lingo? Right. Is that your new shirt? Yep. What's the Sam says? What's the haps? <laughs> <laughs> Does it make you? I know that you're kind of the. The, the brain that thought of this whole thing, but does it almost make you jealous that you didn't have something like this coming out? You know, it's uh, funny because um, when, when you think about it, like everybody that's come before this generation didn't have these tools. Right. So I say to these kids all the time, it's like, um, okay, so we're giving you way more than anybody's ever been given to succeed in this business, so I'm going to expect a lot out of you. Has your tolerance for bitching and bad attitudes just gone out the window? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's really... Um, wh when we look for a WWE superstar, one of the things we look first and foremost is the, is the human being, right? Right. And, and it's the one thing I'll ask whenever they bring um, somebody into me to make the recommendation of who's coming in here, of which I, I'm the last call on everybody, and they, everybody's given their recommendations, it's one of the first things I ask them, what's his attitude like, you know? I want them to be bigger than life and larger than life and have personality. Same point in time, I want to avoid those problems. So first and foremost is that person. You know, um, the, the the rest of everything else you can kind of teach. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, your goal was to be a part of the business forever. Yeah. Was it ever to be a part of it in this respect? Um, I mean, for me, just to be a part of it. I, I've always loved the kind of the creative component as much as I dug everything else. Um, like now for me, I get as much excitement out of, um, you know, when Bray first came up and we uh, put him out on TV and he went out and, and just, you know, was this instant success. And like, I felt like just like this proud dad, like, yeah. oh man, just, just to see that and to, to, um, to be a part of that and to help him get there is so cool. I always enjoyed that part of the process. Did I ever think it would be to, to, to be the guy... Um, that, as many people will say, to take Vince's spot. Nobody's ever going to take Vince's spot because, one, he probably will outlive all of us. He's, he's like a cockroach. He'll survive the nuclear holocaust, be the only one left. Um, and, and you know, um, I, you know, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So I, I don't really think about that. I don't think about, you know, I know they put it out there um, to the world, and, and that's part of being a publicly traded company, and that's cool. Um, for me, it's just about making the product great, and 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 you know whether people agree with that on the day we do it or not is is that's opinion. But to make the product great, to try and ensure the future, to to build this, to to take the business to the next level. Um, who's sitting in the chair at the end of the day it doesn't really matter to me. I got a two-parter before I let you go. Um, number one, like you, you're so hands-on with the storylines in NXT. Is it frustrating for you? to then have to kind of share that storyline credit once they get to the main roster? And how do you respond when you hear people saying they like what's going on on NXT better than what's happening on the main show? Well, I think there's, uh, listen, there's a saying about opinions, right? So <laughs> yeah. um, everybody's got one. Listen, at the end of the day. Like elbows, I think is the expression. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, down here, I just, I just, uh, I take the talent that I have and I write, I try to write the best show. Uh -huh. I try to write a show I'd want to watch, right? right? And that's all I do. Um, and you know, I, the, people can say, oh, the difference in the shows. Listen, if I had to write a three-hour show every single week, you know, uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I have to write a one-hour show, <laughs> and and the pr pressure's a lot different. Um, right. There's a lot of masters have to be served, Raw, SmackDown, all those things. Um, you know, I'm, I'm flattered that people love the product. I think it's great. I'm, I'm excited for these kids. At the end of the day, the goal is to still get them up to the main roster. But the bigger I can make the platform for them to jump off of onto that main roster, yeah. NXT, the better it is. I love uh, being on the network and kind of like being the thing on the network and giving these kids the opportunity to, uh, you know, now and then have uh, have a, a takeover special and where, where we take over the network and uh, – you know, go live without a net and, and see what they can really do and that excitement and that hype of, of having a pay-per-view kind of event. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I did that, but I did. <laughs> um, Air quotes. Yeah. It, it's, um, it's that, that's just really cool. And, and um, you know, listen, if people love it at the end of the day, great. 
is do I think it's better? No, I don't. I don't think anything's better. I don't think anything's worse. Um, we all work very hard on the product and and uh, try to put out the best product possible. Well, I'm glad the Performance Center is doing so well. I'm glad it's in the 2K15 video game. That's huge. It is. And I'm glad that we kind of figured out what the haps was today. Yeah. And let, let me ask a question. When yeah. you get into 2K and you design your, like, are you going to have, like, the big fro? Like, is it going to be you or are you going to create some other character? No. Why would I? If I'm me, I get to be me, like, all day. Why would I want to create someone no, else? That's a point. But you I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. that. Maybe. I've actually reached out to 2K to get more hair texturizing involved. That's very To cool. make yeah. sure that I can really do me. Is it a thing where you can can go in and add extra conditioner and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that to get rid of some of the fuzziness and whatnot. Yeah, I'm going to hydrate and, and maybe, things like maybe that. Maybe you tag team with a homeless guy <laughs> right. or something. Yeah. It would kind of work. It's Who's the, who? It's like the yeah, doink no, thing. Yeah, it's all. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> thanks a lot, Triple H. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Cool, man.